Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, we're going to talk about the part of our embouchure that's probably discussed the most, and that's our corners. We're going to look at some different ways of how we can think about using our corners when we play. So why are the corners discussed so much when we talk about our embouchure? Well, the corners play a key role in the structure of our embouchures, and they have a big part in supporting the airstream. Now, speaking of support, I want to thank everybody out there who's been supporting the channel so far by subscribing. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. So let's look at the role the corners play in the structure of our embouchures. Nine times out of 10, probably 10 times out of 10, if I say to point to your corners, we're gonna to point to these muscles right here. The primary function of these muscles here, actually it's two little muscles, is to smile. Now that's not something that we wanna do as brass players. So we spend a lot of time teaching these muscles to not do what they're actually intended to do. As brass players, we spend a lot of time focusing on how to strengthen these muscles here. And there's various different exercises we can use to achieve that. I want you to try something with me. I want to bring awareness to what these muscles feel like when we're forming our embouchure. So if you could just bring your fingers right here and start to feel what these muscles actually feel like as we form our embouchure. One of the embouchure's primary jobs is to be a funnel for the airstream. So with the corner structure that we looked at, it's definitely possible for that embouchure to funnel the airstream into the mouthpiece. Another thing I want us to take note of is that when our corners are in this formation, the muscles are engaged. Now, anytime that the muscles are engaged for a long period of time, eventually they're gonna get tired. So usually our corners break down first and then everything else goes in our embouchure after we've had like a long playing day. Let's look at a different way we can think about the function of our corners. Now let's keep in mind that one of the primary jobs of the embouchure is to funnel the airstream into the mouthpiece. If you could follow along with me one more time. And I want to take our focus away from our corners being here in this formation to if they were in this formation. And now these are our corners. It's a pretty drastic difference from here to there. But the way the embouchure functions is the same. The function is to get that airstream funneled into the mouthpiece. So if we bring our corners to there and just blow some air across your lips with them in this formation. Now go back to the other formation. Can notice the difference in the sound of the airstream. Now another thing you'll notice about this new formation is the engagement of the muscles we talked about before. So before we could feel these muscles really engaged here. When we bring our corners here, the engagement of these muscles is far less. You can feel it's much more relaxed. So the air is gonna be traveling across relaxed lips. That's what we want. That's gonna help us get our best sound. But the function of our embouchure has not changed. It is still funneling the airstream. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. If you're used to playing with your lip formation, something like this or this, that is going to feel totally foreign to you. And more than likely, your body's going to say, no, I can't do that. <laughs> We're not doing this. That's how I felt. But I've been working on it little by little, and I've found that it's made such a drastic improvement in all aspects of my playing. 
Now, if you give yourself a little time and you're patient with yourself, you might find the same improvement for you. But I want to know, let me know in the comments section which way you play, which way is more efficient for you. And if any of these tips and shifting the focus of your corners being from here to here, let me know if any of that has helped improve your sound. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time at the Chop Shop.